Buonasera, benvenuti all'Abbazia Senza Tetto, un luogo incantevole, suggestivo, meraviglioso. Amanda, in May 2015, I moved out of my parents' house, excited to be living condo life as a single guy in the city. No more than a week later, you walked through my front door and my whole life changed. We went on our first date the week after that, and that night I started thinking about what I would say when we got here. Seven years and one month later, I stand here making the easiest decision I have ever made, taking you to be my wife. Zachary, today I get to marry you, my closest friend, my favorite person, and the love and the home that I've been waiting for. I love your laugh and your voice. I love that you are kind, caring, and that you can read me like a book. You're the only one that can make me laugh the hardest, my real partner in crime. We are crossing into the beginning of our new life together, and I can't wait. I love you. graduated over a decade ago, and since then Amanda and I haven't lived in the same city, so we have had to be really intentional with keeping in touch. And throughout all of this, in the last 10 years, she has been the easiest friendship I've ever had. It's just so easy to be her friend. And despite living in different cities, as luck would have it, I was actually there the night she met Zach. And um, I don't remember much from that night, but I do remember she was talking to this handsome guy all night long. So he made it very easy for us when he told his sister after his first date with Amanda that I'm going to marry her. He knew, so we knew. You're a good son and you're a good brother to your sister and we know that you're going to be a great husband as well. Congratulations and it's about <laughs> you two have waited two fucking years to celebrate this, and tonight we're going to do just that. Zach, thank you for hitting on my best friend at your house for me. With that, we wouldn't be here today. And more importantly, thank you for treating her like the diamond that she is. Zach, I know you'll always be there for Amanda to support her and keep her going when uh, she starts to feel like she just can't right now. <laughs> Zach, I've, what I've really respected about you is your attentiveness. And whenever we, we speak, it feels like you're, you're giving me your full attention. And the way you enjoy life, which is uh, just so apparent with the way you talk about Italy and food and drink. Um, and it's <laughs> especially drink. Zach and I share a very unique friendship, and one that you don't often see. He was the first person to say hi to me on the first day of school in gym class. We balled together, and we had a pretty epic land party. If you know, you know. <laughs> You have a natural tenacity, 
to make people around you feel very comfortable very easily. Um, and I would just say you have a very friendly nature and killer smile, which obviously Zach fell in love with. Three years, we had a vision of what we wanted our wedding to be, where we wanted it to be, um, and who we wanted to celebrate it with. I vow to always support you in everything that you do. I will always be patient. I promise that when we are old and gray, and sitting on the balcony of our apartment in Rome, <laughs> We will always look back on our lives together and have no regrets. I vow to always love you. I will always be there for you. When we first met, you made a bold move and you took my hand to cross the street with you. Today, seven years later, holding your hand, we are crossing into the beginning of our new life together and I can't wait. I love you. And now, you know, seeing everyone here, two, literally two years to the day of our original wedding date, I couldn't be more sure that this is how it was supposed to happen all along. Um, and well worth the wait. That's it. Babe, we did it. <laughs> I love you. Thank you guys so much for being here. We love you.